opponents against Mario and so on later on and check for collisions so uh, here we load all the, our images you don't really want to go through every image loading one by one that's just really boring stuff um, so make sure you've added them like I did on the uh, example feel free to have a look through these read them if you like there's nothing uh, complex or specific about them so um, what we're gonna do uh, so we've got these uh, I'm gonna put these in capitals because um, it's just best practice I don't know why I didn't do this in the first place but <coughs> basically I'm gonna show you guys how I do things pretty much I mean if you wanna change anything whilst you're doing it then that's up to you but then you're taking risk there so um, the sounds here I'm not gonna I'm gonna call them but I'll tell you what to do on your example so um, we've copied the folder every now and then I'm gonna have to look at the laptop here because that's where I've got my steps in order to save time um, for you guys to do this as fast as possible and as um, easy to explain it is for me um, as possible as well so um, I've explained to you the classes so what I'm gonna comment out um, is on my example you don't need to do this the only reason why I'm doing this is so you can hear me properly whilst I'm doing this um, because if sounds going on whilst I play the game maybe I'll test it at some point to make sure it's working but if sounds going on whilst I play the game then it's really annoying and you won't be able to hear me so you guys can hear the sound on yours if you like um, so what we're gonna do now is um, we go on to main I'm gonna add a series of includes so I'm just gonna do that on my example here so do that yeah, so what we're going to have is we're going to have, so just copy this, there's no reason why we should just write this over and over again, so what we're going to have is, our second one is variables dot h, and that's this here, that's all we're doing here, we're not adding all of them at once, because uh, some of them we don't need in the main, we only need outside, so map handling, handling dot h, this is to paste tiles and so on, our next one is fire and movement, that's for physics, and our last one is globe struct. Now, odds are we're not going to need this. If hopefully we will not need it, because um, all this has is a series of things that I find useful for debugging. And uh, feel free to do it yourself. Um, basically, it lets me use message boxes and so on. And uh, I find those quite helpful if I'm having trouble with something. So I'm just going to have a quick run at this. We have some, we have some fails. So um, yeah. So next thing we're going to do. Uh, apparently we have a redefinition here. Uh, enemy fire movement, fire movement. So basically this should be fire movement. So if you got this mistake as well, you shouldn't do because I'm going to fix it before I give you guys the files. But you shouldn't basically. Um, so if I just run this, we're going to have two errors to start off with, and that's fine because it, this is expected. So I miss class. This is pretty much the first thing we're going to do. We're going to go to so I'm just going to go here, import classes, comment out the sound, add includes. So what we're going to do first thing is we're going to create the loader object. Uh, so character events, we come here. The reason why I do this, use, it'll make sense to you at the end basically. So your character. Uh, so we do loader, loader, load. This is just creating our load object so we can access the stuff from within that. And now we're going to write the basic commands at main. Uh, so those are. So we're going to have uh, db set display mode. Uh, I want to choose 800 now, 800 by 600. Now this is not because I've got a small monitor or something like that. It's because the problem with using tiles, this is a big problem that I had, is that you're kind of limited to um, a specific um, uh, resolution. So if you if you think you know maybe I'll have um, a 1920 by 1080 game, you can't really have that unless you find a way around it. Um, if you do, you can put that resolution up, but it will screw up your whole game. It will like uh, you'll see massive, um, you see the background from the sides, and it won't fill up your whole screen. So try that if you like, but I don't recommend you do that. 
it's just something I couldn't get across. I didn't try too much, uh, but you know, uh, hopefully, if you can get it working, I'd really appreciate if you guys tell me how you done it. But um, if your monitor can handle 800 by 600, just stick with that, please. Or if you if if it can't, just go as close to it as you can. That would be great. Um, if you have to sacrifice by 1024 by 768, do it. You'll be you'll be seeing a bit of the background on the sides, but the game will work just fine anyway. Uh, that will make a difference to it. So we're going to say we want um, the background on, back, drop, on. Just do that. Um, and then we have db back drop color. Now color as in the American way. GB because this program I believe is American. And now the colors we cho we've chosen here RGB. Now this makes a color, and the color that this is going to be is basically a blue. Then I one open one up twice, and then that should be enough. Um, and then uh, this gives a light blue color. So when you're loading something, you won't notice that you know a background or whatever. So you all you see is the blue tiles. Um, that way will make it look like there was never anything loading in the first place. Uh, so if I do that, run that, we're still going to have our errors, that's fine. Just want to make sure we didn't type anything wrong here. Um, so then what we're going to do is we're going to go uh, write a few more commands here, making sure the load was well done. So load dot, see, if you wrote it properly and you, on the character events class, you should be able to see these once you press dot. Now this all, all this is for is to access that class. So we're going to go first thing for load images. I forgot to do the caps on that one, but I don't really care at this point. And then uh, load dot. We're going to go for load uh, current level. That loads up big ass level onto the array. And then we're going to go for load dot load sounds. Now um, I've commented mine. Um, hopefully you haven't commented yours. Um, and that will just um, make sure that um, I don't, you don't hear my sounds. So what we'll do, I'll do here as well. You could do this as well. Reset everything. Now this is a method we're going to need later on. This is essential. Otherwise, Mario will just freeze. Now um, the next thing we're going to do <coughs> yeah. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to write our find free sprite event, which we need here. So um, all classes will be pretty much done for you. You just need to fill in uh, what is uh, left to fill in. Um, so we're going to have a fair bit of writing throughout. That's why I said this is going to be a fairly longer tutorial. But we'll see how long it takes us. So what we're going to write is our find free sprite class. So int miscellaneous. So this is something we have to do um, here because um, we're saying it inherited it's a method from this class uh, find free sprite so we're saying it returns an integer which is what we want uh, and what we're going to say here int i equals 10 and that is 10 because um, Mario and a few other sprites occupy the first four or five sprites something like that they occupy the first seven or eight so it's around that that's why I put ten so if db sprite exists so we're saying if that sprite exists uh, i plus plus so keep searching for sprites until uh, this is useful so we don't have to set every sprite um, you know manually so say sprite one sprite so if you've got a thousand sprites you don't have to say sprite one two three all the way to a thousand uh, this way it finds it out for you now the only time this could crash is if you've got like uh, the maximum number of sprites being used already from what I can tell so if you had like uh, I don't know what the maximum but it's something like probably I don't know four or five thousand probably more than that but if you reach that then you're gonna have a crash out of this so we're not gonna have anywhere near that amount so we'll be fine so that's our find free sprite method. So we're going to run this to make sure it runs. It doesn't run because uh, db. Oh, sorry about this. I forgot to put exist. I was talking to you guys. I get a bit thingy sometimes. Load current level. What is wrong with that? It says function does not take zero arguments. Apologies for that. So we're going to put the number of the level we want to load. And at first thing, we're going to load level one. And that should run just fine. So first thing we're going to see is our blue black background so basically uh, this is what it's going to look like when it's loading which is fine so we're going to close that we're going to keep going
so next thing we're going to do so continuing on every now and then I'll take a break to make sure I'm recording this properly because sometimes fraps screws up and I'll lose a ton of data and I have to redo everything excuse me so basically what we're at right now is we're going to write the whole uh, map handling class now this class is going to handle as the name gives it away it, it this class takes care of displaying tiles um, basically loading the whole map and displaying everything that's in there now this is going to take a little bit of time but there are classes that will be a bit long in this one so we're just going to get on with it um, so basically we're going to start off by doing uh, the play sounds uh, so I recommend you to copy this because we're going to have to use this a lot so do that make sure uh, this is you hold shift and you press the uh, two dots there to do this um, if you have a an, an QWERTY not QWERTY everyone's got a QWERTY keyboard but um, I think an, an English keyboard will do that because different um, countries have different um, keys to do things so basically those two dots I'm sure you guys know this already so um, what we're saying is we're saying um, we want to play the sounds but under certain conditions only so if am I alive now just hover over that quickly to make sure that bill exists it does if am I alive um, so if Mario is alive play the music otherwise we don't care about that if DB sound playing uh, and the sound we're talking about is we're talking about S now we put S, uh, S before every sound to um, checkpoint basically to know that it's a sound variable we probably should have done that with everything else but um, I didn't do that so DB set sound volume now the reason for this bit here is um, so S main theme 80 so what we're saying here is we're saying um, if the checkpoint sound is playing then reduce the sound of the main theme uh, by 20 because the maximum is 100 I think uh, we're saying then otherwise um, we're saying db set sound uh, volume I'm gonna end up with a broken neck on this I need to keep turning my head it's terrible main theme 100 so we're saying if checkpoint because uh, as you'll see later on the checkpoint sound is basically like a little celebration sound <coughs> and the good thing about that is it overrides doesn't override just it's supposed to sound over the main theme, so it's like, ooh, um, checkpoint. That sounded really gay, I know. So we'll just keep going with this. Um, if I'm just gonna do this again, because we got the same thingy here. Sorry if I'm being lazy, but we just have a lot to do, and it's a bit late. If you can tell my time, uh, main theme uh, equals equals zero. Uh, if so, if we're saying if it's not playing, and and level over equals equals zero so it's saying if sound is not playing and level isn't over play that sound db play sound and s main theme okay and that should be alright so we're just gonna do a quick build uh, two errors probably just spelling errors like an idiot s main theme s main theme just a typo here what was the other one uh, int assumed what is your problem there int assumed so I'm going to build this again so I don't know that missing type specifier int assumed do not assume Mr. Compiler s main theme it knows level over and knows main theme checkpoint Apologies on that, guys. Oh, I can't believe I forgot to do this. I gotta pay more attention. So, void, you're gonna make sure to tell it's void, not returning anything. 